What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So in today's video I wanted to talk a little bit about the extension TrueBend, kind of how it works. So kind of a couple different things about how you can use this to bend objects in order to create more sophisticated shapes inside of SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So TrueBend is a free extension from TomTom that you can download in the Sketchucation extension store. I will link to this page in the notes down below but you can download this and you can use it to bend objects inside of SketchUp. One of the things I like about this is just the simplicity. So you basically have an object like this one, which I've downloaded from the 3D warehouse. So all you do is you select an object, you run true bend, and then you set a radius or an angle that you want this to be bent around. So for example, I can click and drag this point or I can type in a value of 180 degrees to bend this object 180 degrees around a central point. And the nice thing about this is I'm not really getting a whole lot of deformation or anything like that in my shape. I'm getting a little bit in the legs here, but overall I'm not getting a whole lot of deformation. You can see how this gives me a really interesting shape. And so one problem that people have though is sometimes, and I'll go ahead and make a copy of this over here, sometimes, We'll make this one unique, they run into an issue where the object doesn't bend in the proper direction. So you click on it and for example, this one right now, you can see how you just click on this and it'll bend it along a radius in this direction. Well sometimes what happens is you get a result where instead of it bending along this direction, it'll bend along the wrong direction. So see how I changed the axes in here? Well now if I run this, you can see how my deformation is on the other side, which while it's interesting, um, so if I was to bend this, you can see how this definitely gives you an interesting shape, but it's not really what you're looking for long term. And so the reason for that is because this basically bends your objects perpendicular to the object's red axis. So I've talked a little bit about individual object axes in the past, but you can see how because the red axis is running this direction, on this one, it's bending it this way. If you look at this one, you can see how the red axis is running this way. And so what you want to do is if you ever run into the situation where this is bending this the wrong way, you just want to double click into your option object. You want to reset the axes by placing them using the axis tool so that the red axis is running perpendicular to the direction you want to bend. So. If I was to come in here and do this, and then I'm going to update my component axes to match my sketch axes and hit yes. Well, now, if I was to run this, you can see how this bends in the proper direction. So you can see I could set this to bend like 90 degrees or really whatever I wanted to do. And so the only other thing I wanted to talk about in this video, because that's kind of a troubleshooting thing. That's probably the biggest problem people run into with this extension. But I also wanted to talk about how you can combine objects in order to create more complex shapes. So let's say for example that I had two benches that are aligned like this and I wanted them both to curve. So right now you can't select both of them and run true bend because it tells me to select a single group or component to bend. But what I could do is I could take these two groups, right click, and put them in a group and then now I could bend this whole thing. So you can see I can bend this and let's say I wanted to bend this, we'll say 90 degrees right here. So you can see how this is bending this 90 degrees based on the central point right here. But I'm gonna hit the enter key. Well now I could take this and I could use the rotate tool in copy mode to create a copy at 180 degrees and then I could move this so these corners align. And so now what this allows me to do is this creates, allows me to create a longer, more complex bench that follows this smooth curve. So if you ever want to bend objects like this individually, you can do that by grouping them together. And then the other interesting thing about this is if I was to come in here, right click on this one and explode it, I could come back in and bend this object more. So you can see how now I could bend this as an individual object. And I'm not necessarily saying that I want to do that in this situation, but you could come in here and explode that after you've bent the object in order to bend the individual objects as well. So if you ever run into an issue with the direction true bend is trying to bend things, so just remember that it's going to bend perpendicular to the object's red axis. And so that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Did you know you could change the bend direction in true bend? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you liked 
this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.